let's finish up this chestnut log. May 31st, been about a week since we put a video up, a little bit longer than a week actually. Bruno got out of school last week and we took him down to Disney down in Florida for a summer vacation this year. He had a blast down there. And actually stay tuned to the end of the video, there's a little clip of a roller coaster ride that he rode down there. I wasn't on it, but my wife was. I can't stand those things. I have this terrible motion sickness. So anyways, back to this chestnut. It's been sitting on the sawmill here for the past week while we've been gone. And the last slab I got off this thing was 31 inches, and that's what's waiting on us right here at the top. We've gotten three slabs so far out of this timber. So my strategy here today is I'm gonna flip this thing 180 degrees, start sawing from the bark side till I get down here to this heartwood. Cause right here in the middle, man, there's several holes and it's real punky right in here. I'm not sure how this final slab will turn out. So I wanna put this on the very bottom. So if this last slab, you know, if it's not a very good quality, at least maybe the worst face of it will be here on the bottom and the top will be more solid, I don't know. We'll see how that works out for me. But we should get about five or six more slabs out of this timber before we're done. And it's been going rather well, other than running into this rot right here. You know, the first three slabs from the previous video, they look perfect. If you've not seen that video, there's a link below to that. And once this thing is done, I got some white oak lined up next. And uh, I'm not think I've ever done, yeah, we've done white oak here on this channel, it's just been a while. I don't know what that was. Mosquito or something, or a tick. So anyways, guys, let's flip this thing over 180 degrees and make one cut and get that bark off and start making some nine quarter slabs. today I've done a blade change since the last video we're gonna be using the Woodmizer double hard seven degree blades today the 045s that's what I've used on this channel for the entire time this channel's been going I think the seven degree blades hard to beat had a nine degree blade on there it done okay but the seven degree blades man that's what I really like it's always really performed well for me so we'll see how the seven degree blade does in the wide head. Should be good to go now. I'm gonna warm up this engine. And I'm actually gonna throttle it here. And when I do the throttle down, I'm gonna put the camera showing the uh, gauge for the blade so you guys can see how that blade will stretch. And the PSI will go, you know, sometimes 100 pounds lower on it just by turning it on for the first time. It's pretty interesting, I think. Kind of gives you an idea of the things I have to look for here on a run the sawmill. And, uh, before we turn the engine on here, quick shout out to you people on Patreon supporting this channel. Can't thank you guys enough. It really means a lot that you guys are helping me out over there. And if anybody, anybody that's interested in that, there's a link down below to Patreon. Kind of shows what's going on there if you want to check that out. And that just helps keep this channel going. It's just a way to support us here, and I really appreciate it. Out of all the features on this sawmill, this one right here. Put the camera on it. This feature right here is probably one that I appreciate more than anything is that blade guide arm coming in and out. That was such a hassle on the 35 have to do that manually all the time and stretching out there over the log. Awesome.
right guys, here's the first slab of the day. Should be a good one. Bit of grain tear out right there. No big deal. Got a little cavity right here in the middle. A potsy would fill that right in. Make it look just natural as it does right now. Ridiculous right there. This is the outside slab. Like I said before guys, usually you gotta get down two or three cuts before you start seeing this really nice figure. And this Chinese chestnut here, it doesn't matter. You start having this nice stuff right here on the outer layers. It don't wait till you get to the middle. Thank mm -hmm. you. 